Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that HAL is working on Indian Multi-Role Helicopter or IMRH which is going to be a twin engine multi-role multi-mission helicopter in 13 ton class of medium lift helicopter. It is being designed to replace MI-17 helicopters of Indian Air Force and will be better in many aspects than MI-17 V-5. Recently, it has also been reported that Indian Air Force has shelved its deal with Russia to buy 48 Mi-17 V-5 medium lift helicopters for IMRH program. Indian Air Force, Army and Navy have requirement of 200-114 IMRH helicopters respectively. The combined requirement of IMRH for our armed forces is going to be 314 with an estimated cost of $20 billion. Additional 11 billion would be required for MRO phase. IMRH is being designed to operate in extreme weather conditions and high altitudes. It will have a service ceiling of 6.5 km, range of 800 km, and endurance of 3 hours, and a payload of 4000 kg and a maximum cruise speed of 270 km per hour. The IMRH will have four hard points where it can carry four anti tank guided missiles, and each hard point can carry a payload of 300 kg. It can carry 500 kg of payload on the hard point near fuselage. In total, it will have weapons payload of 1600 kg and overall payload capacity of 4000 kg. At an altitude of 4.5 km, it will be able to carry 1000 kg which will be best in class. It will also be equipped with electronic warfare suite and self-protection jammer. It will be the most spacious helicopter in its category with troop carrying capacity of 24 to 36. Now, in order to match the performance and payload capacity, the helicopter will feature twin engine with a dual FADEC with 2000 kilowatt power. As per the latest update, HAL has invited tender for supply of 2720 shaft horsepower engine in twin configuration. The possible contenders for this competition is Russian VK2500 PS3 engines powering Mi-17, Ka-32 and Mi-35 helicopters. G's CT-78 double shaft engine powering helicopters like Leonardo AW101, AW189 and Sukoski S30 and S92 and a Nito 1K intended for Leonardo AW189K. All the three engines generate 2500 to 3000 shaft horsepower. HL and France has long history of developing engines to power the indigenous helicopters. RDN 1H1 Shakti engine was co-developed with HL as powering HL's Dhruv and LCH helicopters. The engine can generate 1400 to 2000 shaft horsepower. HL is also discussing with Safran for joint development and manufacturing of IMRH engine under a strategic partnership model and same has been reported during the visit of French Defence Minister to India in December 2021. Considering the long collaborative history of HL and French engine makers, it's most likely to be a NITO 1K engine which will be selected for IMRH program. HL has planned the structural test of unarmed version of IMRH in 2023 followed by its first flight in 2024. The armed version of IMRH will undergo the structural testing by 2025 to 2026. HL has planned to produce six flying prototypes for trials before starting production which means it will require at least 12 engines to power the IMRH. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.